Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers from previous versions of Angular. In the last episode, I gave you an introduction to app module in Angular 17. We can use modules in Angular 17 because it is backward compatible. That's what is our understanding so far. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to generate modules and I'll show you how to in create components inside those custom modules and still use it in Angular 17. Let's get started. If you have missed out on the first 17 episodes, make sure that you go through them in order to learn all the breaking changes of Angular as well as learning Angular end to end with me. Today we are learning how to generate module and also we will generate some components inside those modules. So the command is still the same that we used in earlier versions of Angular which is ng generate module okay and followed by the module name. So you can see here I'm just giving ng generate module the module name is users. Then to create a component inside it we'll run ng generate component and you will tell which folder or what is the path where you want that particular module to be and you will mention which module it needs to go inside. In this case we are saying it has to go inside the users module and I'm saying that disabling it and saying it need not to be standalone true. That's why I made it standalone false. All right. So those are essentially the two commands that we will run today and create the module and component. Let's get started. So I'll bring up the editor we are in Angular 17 project. We are building a crew management application. Let's go inside the source. Let's see the expand the app folder. We don't have any module yet. All right. So I am inside Angular 17. So I'll go inside the crew management and source. All right. Beautiful. So now what we'll do, we'll run the command ng generate m users, which means ng generate m wings and ng generate module by the name users. Now it will create a new folder and you can see here oh sorry I created it the wrong level so I'm going to delete it I want it inside the app okay so I'm going to go inside the app and do it there run the same command. Alright so now we have our users module inside app folder. Alright so what we'll do now is we'll try to generate some components. So you'll write ng generate component. The name of the component will be it will be inside users. Let's call it add user and I'm saying which module it will be users module and I'm saying stand alone equal to false. OK, so now when you expand the users folder, you can see a component which is add user expand it. You don't see standalone flag true because we said standalone should be false. Also, if you open module, you can see there is an entry for add user component. This will sound familiar to you if you are coming from previous versions of Angular. But now you know that how you can build a module, add lot of components inside it. I'll show you one more component. Now what we'll do, we will make it standalone. Okay. So by default it is standalone. So let's just do that. Okay. So now it says that okay because it's the same name. So let's give a different name. Let's call it edit user. So now you see it has just created the component. It will not make an entry because now standalone is true. So it is not there in the module. Okay. So a module can consist of components which are standalone which can or which are not right in this case this is not standalone edit user is standalone so a module will consist of a lot of details like components pipes directives services much more anything specific to that particular functionality in this case what we are doing is we are building a users module which will have these components pipes directives services all of it under this module but here important thing that you're learning is you can create a module in angular 17 just like how you would do anywhere else okay now to do that now the question would be do you do i need to inject it somewhere 
right not yet not yet I'll come to that as we progress but for now just hold on if you have any thoughts we I will show you step by step okay for now or let's say you want to use anything then you need to create an app module and inject it here right let's say you want to use add edit so then you would use it accordingly I'll show you that also step by step for today all you are doing is learning how to generate a component so let's go here and add some notes for episode number 18 today we are learning generate modules so to generate we'll run the command ng generate module or m followed by the name of the module that's step number one step number two you can generate a component and give the path component underscore name and you can mention the name of the module that you want to use if you don't want your component to be standalone by default you can write use a stand alone equal to false so that way you can you can create a component inside module and you can create any number of things in the next episode I'm going to talk about the types of modules that are there like feature modules a lazy loading module etc that would give you an idea of how you should be architecting your application okay so once you are done with that then we I will show you how to use these components into our application and do some integration with it and do hands-on on it it's a step-by-step -step process do not rush into it take it easy take it one step at a time and soon you'll be mastering angular thank you so much for joining in this episode i'll see you in the next episode we will learn different types of modules then we'll start integrating into the code thank you see you